Hey everybody, it's Mr. Chambers here, and I just wanted to show you how to use PicMonkey. Um, I'm going to start by showing you how to download the assignment. So basically, you go to the class homepage, and then you're going to basically just click on that and download it. And in mine, it shows up down here. And when it does, I usually just click on both of them. So once it's in there, it should be in your um, hard drive somewhere. So on mine, it shows up um, there it showed up there so once you have it there then you can go over to PicMonkey and you're going to save that image in your art folder you're going to go to PicMonkey.com and you're going to click on uh, edit a photo and that opens up your folder for where you, your things are so in my case I have it in uh, my art assignments and you see it says edit this image so I'm going to double click on that and it opens up in PicMonkey. Now first thing I want to do is get rid of that color cast. This is a black and white drawing so I'm going to click on colors and I'm going to slide the saturation slider all the way to the left so now that makes it just black and white. Click OK. Now I'm going to go to rotate because it is crooked and so what you do is you take this cursor and you slide it to the left or to the right until it lines up nicely with that grid. See how I'm looking at that grid on the right here? That's crooked, right? So I slide it until it just, that looks pretty, let's see, that looks pretty good. And then I hit apply. And now I want to crop it, get rid of the excess border here. So all I'm going to do is drag these little corners out until I see just past the edge. So do something like that and then come down to the bottom right crop that till it looks pretty even. Good. Now I hit apply. Now I'm going to go to exposure. It's a little gray right now so I'm going to start with the shadows. I'm going to slide that until I get some nice rich darks. So something like that. And then I'll go to the highlights and until I get some nice bright whites. That's two right. You see. So I want to go something in the middle here. Like this. Maybe I'll rich darken just a little bit. So I think that's good. So then I hit apply. And by the way, don't ever mess with brightness or color contrast. You can try it, but generally it doesn't give you great results. Just using the highlights and shadows sliders would give you the best results. So now I've got a nice image. It looks nice and crisp. Um, now I'm going to save it. And first thing I want to do is uh, select, you have three options. See, if I click here, see how it says not great quality but tiny file size. Pierce is great quality, good file size. I want you to select Sean. Gorgeous but large file size. So you can select Sean. And then here, that's the name of the um, thing so far. But I want you to rename it with your first and last name. So for me, it would be Tim-Chambers, comma, AS1. So now I come down here, click Save Photo, and um, I already did this once, so I'm going to save it right there. Click Save, let me repeat. Good, I'm done, and that's all there is to it. You save the image, and now when you're in class, you're going to find that file, and um, that's what you'll be turning in. So thanks. If you have any questions, just contact me at my email address at studio at timothychambers.com. Great. See you in class.